Greetings, I'm Sui Jin, Sales Engineering Director for Juniper for the regions of ASEAN and Taiwan. Really excited to have you here together with me and to have our guest, Manoj Prasanna Kumar. Manoj is a head of 5G IoT for Singtel, one of the largest telecommunication service providers in this region with a capitalization of over 32 billion US dollars. Singtel has always been at the forefront of technology to provide the best service for their customers. In the past, they were first with a commercial service for broadband in Singapore and in the world. And today, they have 95% 5G coverage in, uh, nationwide. Manoj, thank you and welcome. We are excited to have you here today with us to share our thoughts about industry, 5G and the solutions that Singtel together with Juniper can provide to our customers. Perhaps you can start by telling a little bit about yourself, your role at the cups of the 5G revolution. Well, definitely. Thanks, Sojin. Glad to kind of meet Juniper this morning and thank you all for listening in to our chat this morning. Myself, I'm Manoj Prasanna Kumar, Head of Technology for 5G and Internet of Things for Singtel. So my job in Singtel is to lead the engineering for our 5G product and platforms and also the delivery and rollout of 5G deployments for all enterprise customers in Singapore and the region. My team is also responsible for the build-up and rollout of the popularly called as multi-access edge compute. In other words, we call it MEC, mm. nothing but edge computing that makes the network also as a hosting infrastructure to allow customers to host mission critical applications on the edge, especially applications that require less than 10 millisecond latency and which is very, very critical for customers to run their day-to-day -day business operations. Mm. So my team builds the platform for Singtel that allows Singtel to roll out 5G seamlessly to all enterprises and also allows enterprises to use the same platform to deploy applications, especially mission critical ones, at the network edge. Thank you. What do you think this 5G means to enterprises and how is this important for your customers? Well, the, it's a very good question. Right? 5G for the masses, people may think 5G is a faster 4G. Whenever people talk about 5G, there are very common popular examples in the internet, right? Where people say in 4G, if you can download a 4K movie in 30 minutes, in 5G, you can download in two minutes. Well, that is true, right? But, but that's not the only benefit from 5G. 5G is much beyond a faster network. 5G has a lot of opportunities that it is opening up through novel features and functions that 5G offers like network slicing, MEC, for example, mm. which never existed in the previous Gs or the previous generations of the cellular networks. Yes. So for example, if you take how network slicing and MEC can add value to a customer, right? mm. if you take an industry 4.0 example, mm. many customers try to use video analytics to analyze product faults with the goal to improve product quality over time. Right? Mm. So if you talk about how they achieve this, they send robots Sur uh, doing surveillance on their delivery lines, on their assembly lines. Mm. They have fixed CCTV deployments that constantly watch uh, all their logistic facilities, packaging facilities mm. to identify faulty products at any point in time. Right? Mm. So this is a very, very mission critical use case for them because it only takes few seconds for a product to pass through the conveyor belt to go into the packaging box in the logistics and to get shipped out of the factory to reach the hands of a customer. Right? Uh, and mistake so, uncaught, right? Precisely. So they have this few seconds runway to identify a faulty product. Right? Mm -hmm. This is a very good example of a mission critical application because there are many cameras monitoring the entire factory floor, you know, many, many conveyor belts, many, many assembly lines like this, mm -hmm. all trying to identify faulty products. Right? Mm -hmm. So if the customer has a dedicated slice for such mission critical applications in the factory, which don't have to compete with other applications, mm -hmm. which get dedicated allocation of network resources, then it helps such applications to perform flawlessly. Right? Mm -hmm. This is a simple example of how a new feature in 5G, network slicing, adds value to the customers, which was not present in the previous generations. Right? So it is much beyond a faster network. It's all about optimizing the latency, bringing it as slow as possible, to enable ultra low latency use cases, which add a lot of value to business customers. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. So I think there's uh, there's a lot of use cases there. I could imagine another one could be maybe surveillance in the casino, right? Where you can't even miss someone playing a different card. 
I realize there's also a market confusion about you know the, the users of 5G versus uh, Wi-Fi 6. And then I think this frequently come up, you know, maybe in some of your discussions. Uh, what are your thoughts around this and how do you differentiate uh, 5G and Wi-Fi 6 to your customers? I'm very glad that you brought up this question. Right? So this is one of the most popular questions that we get asked by customers every single day. Going back to the same example, right? uh, if you take an industry 4.0 customer who operates a factory, mm -hmm. the very common question that they will ask is, we already have Wi-Fi. Why do we need 5G? Wi-Fi is already meeting my goals. Mm. I can deploy my applications in Wi-Fi. Mm. But what matters is how real time can you make decisions in your business, right? And when you talk about scaling your business and when the number of devices that connect to the network goes to couple thousands, couple hundred thousands or millions, right? Mm. That is where you really start to kind of see the need of having a network that can scale mm. with connection density that will future-proof your business. Mm. So what we advise customers, right? Wi-Fi and 5G are not replaceable technologies. They don't replace each other. Mm. They are in fact complementary to one another. Right? Mm. If you take any uh, enterprise uh, deployment, let's go back to the same factory floor example. Mm. If the customer has only indoor requirements, and the connection density is not massive, they only have a few hundred devices mm. spread across their entire factory, then yes, probably Wi-Fi might help them. Mm. But if the customer has uh, an IoT deployment where every single part of every single machine in the factory has a sensor that connects to the network, mm. and this is couple thousand or couple hundred thousand devices, then the connection density is really a lot. Right? Yes. And if you can imagine many of those sensors contribute to machine critical applications, then it becomes absolutely necessary for the customer to have a network that can have more denser connections. Mm. So this is really where 5G can augment Wi-Fi 6. Mm. And on top of that, if the customer has mobility use cases, mm. for example, if they want to do AGVs, going across their factory floor mm. and then going outside the factory to the yard and then come back to the factory, mm. indoor plus outdoor. Mm. This is where 5G can really complement Wi-Fi 6 and enable a seamless transition when the AGVs go outside the factory and come back inside the factory. Mm. And the last but not the least is also the coverage. Right? If the factory is really a huge one, right, sprawling across thousands of uh, square meters of floor space, right? mm. adding Wi-Fi access points uh, every five meters or 10 meters to get that type of ubiquitous coverage will also make the business case very expensive. This is where 5G with few radios can offer coverage to the entire factory floor. Mm -hmm. And what matters is calculate, calculating the returns on investment mm -hmm. and helping the customer find out based on the case-to-case -case basis, what is the right mode of connectivity? Is it Wi-Fi, is it 5G, or is it a combination of both mm -hmm. that meets their business requirements? Mm -hmm. So certainly it sounds like the 5G is not just uh, not a replacement for Wi-Fi 6, right? 5G does a lot of things that Wi-Fi 6 cannot do. Yeah. Uh, recently, we heard that Singtel has launched uh, the Paragon 5G platform. I think that sounds really exciting. Could you share a little bit more about that? Yes, so this is something exciting for us. Singtel has been building Paragon as our de facto 5G platform mm. that we use to deploy enterprise 5G offering to customers be it customers having a private campus network at their campus, or be it customers coming on board enterprises specifically mm. on our public 5G network, we allow them to use Paragon as a platform to manage their 5G connections and to also have utmost visibility into the performance and the utilization of their 5G connections. Mm. And in the roadmap, we also have plans to offer network slicing and much more exciting features to the, through the same platform as a single point of contact for the customers mm. if they have to interact seamlessly with the 5G network. Mm. And we also expand beyond the network and try to add more value to customers moving up the stack. Mm. The platform also allows customers to host mission critical applications at the network edge. Mm. And edge really depends on what a customer is trying to achieve. Edge can be a single owned edge site closer to our network elements or it could be an edge site at the customer's campus closer to their devices. Mm -hmm. So the platform allows customers to deploy applications seamlessly across both the edges. We call it the near edge at the customer's location and the far edge at the telco's site. Right? Oh. So we support both. Wow. And we also understand irrespective of what novel features like slicing that we offer in connectivity and how much we open up the edge to allow customers to host applications. 
this is still infrastructure as a service mm. and customers look up to infrastructure as a service to solve business problems right? yes. so what matters for customers to solve business problems is applications that can be readily adopted that solves challenging business problems for them right? mm. so in view of that we are also building up a marketplace on top of our platform where we partner with industry leading software companies mm. who have turnkey applications vertical specific turnkey applications which we qualify and bring on board to the marketplace which customers can leverage and deploy with a click of a button on the edge connected to the 5G network so putting all of this together a single platform that customers can use to monitor and manage connectivity edge compute deployments and also access applications to do rapid trials is our value proposition with paragon platform built uniquely uh, we are probably one of the industry leading telcos building a platform like this and this is built primarily with a motive to boost the adoption of 5g and mec in the market wow uh, this is a, i think this is certainly a unique selling point i have not heard of this type of platforms being built you know, certainly in the past customers have always been clamoring for more analytics they want to know what's happening right but now with a marketplace and the ability to slice the network this is amazing what what is your experience working with uh, Juniper uh, as a technology partner and uh, how does uh, Juniper play a role uh, with uh, Singtel's uh, success so far? Well, thanks for bringing this up. Juniper, I would say, plays a very important role in our journey in building up 5G MEC and uh, getting the market to adopt 5G and MEC. So Juniper is uh, much more than a vendor to us. Juniper is actually a technology partner for us. So. We have worked with a lot of vendors in the past where they deliver a product, they configure the product, they train us to use the product, and then they just come in only when there is an issue. Right? But Juniper is not like that with us. Juniper has a lot of programs that they continuously engage us on right? with the goal to be a part of the journey with us, right? to help customers and the market to adopt 5G and MEC. Mm -hmm. To quote a few examples, Juniper has this program called uh, Resident Engineer Program mm -hmm. where they invest in resources, they put in resources into the customer's organization. The resources travel along with the customer in the journey and they continuously learn what are the challenges that the customer is undergoing. Mm -hmm. And then they suggest recommendations on how best to handle change the Juniper infrastructure's configuration, uh, bring in new Juniper uh, uh, equipments, bring in new Juniper software to help automate the business operations and to help uh, the adoption of the product that the business is trying to sell in the market more seamless to customers. So we are a big fan of the resident engineer program. In fact, we use the resident engineer program uh, to help us uh, manage a lot of our critical telco infrastructure. Another example that I can quote is um, one of the recent software platforms that Juniper brought to us called Upstara. So this is a platform that helps customers automate the process of network monitoring and operating network sites, right? mm -hmm. especially data center network. Yes. So this is something that we're really exploring with Juniper because it solves some critical operational challenges for us in terms of managing and monitoring highly complex data center environments like NDC. Yes. So there are many more examples like this, but we really uh, value the relationship with Juniper as we clearly see that they want to partner with us and travel along with us in our journey and help us uh, on a day-to-day -day basis with the goal of making us be more efficient and better every day. <laughs> Thank you, Manoj. Thank you for your kind words. This will certainly inspire us to go even further. Uh, we, we always see customer success as uh, our success. Uh, so I, I'm very happy to work hand-in-hand -hand with you on this. Thank you for sharing all your insights with us. We were just looking forward and then was wondering what can you share about the exciting stuff that Singtel is building for your customers in one to three years? So Singtel's strategy with respect to 5G and how we want to approach boosting customer adoption on 5G and MEC, we call it a three-layer strategy. So the network layer, hardware layer, and the applications layer. In the network layer, we are following 3GPP very closely. We are seeing the types of standards that are coming up in terms of network slicing, service assurance, and so on. And it is definitely a core part of our strategy to continuously evolve our network offering to launch these new network capabilities, APIs and services to customers to help them get the best out of our 5G offering. Moving one level up on the hardware, 
we partner with a lot of hyperscalers mm. and we bring their hardware their tools into our edge making it seamless for our customers to adopt the edge for their mission critical applications to name a few examples we partner with microsoft quite actively mm. in deploying azure stack edge azure stack hub and azure stack hci mm. as mec offerings to our customers and why we do this is to help customers have a lot of ready to use tools that will help them rapidly build applications and deploy applications at the edge and moving one level above the hardware while we continuously focus on expanding our partnerships on the hardware bring more and more capabilities into our hardware tools into our hardware so then customers have more choices to rapidly build applications we will also move up the value chain in the application layer and we'll expand our horizon of partnerships on the applications today we are focused on limited applications very strategic applications like virtual reality mixed reality video analytics and so on so we will continuously expand our horizon of these application focus areas mm. and we will cover more vertical specific turnkey solutions that we will qualify and onboard them as a service on our product offering with our paragon platform mm. which customers can then readily come and deploy as a end to end vertical specific turnkey offering all the way from the application to the hardware to the network mm. and that is how we plan to help our customers uh, get more value of the network and the mec offering that we are continuously uh, trying to deploy in the market thank you manoj that was really nice and i think your customers have a lot to look forward to in the next couple of years so with that everyone thank you thank you for listening to this and manoj thank you for being here with us thank you Thank you.